This goes for all other fan base as content creators. If you don't watch the 49ers football, you can't speak for us. At least try to get legitimate info. Ask us so you can have better perspective because at the end of the day, you kind of sound foolish and you kind of sound clueless at the end of the day. Here's what really happened. I know some of you guys are using Steve Wilkes and thinking that we're using him as a scapegoat, which is BS. There's nothing going on in that situation. He underperformed as a DC, and it didn't work out. Him and Kyle Shanahan didn't see eye to eye. The defense was a step down. Um, We're not excusing Kyle Shanahan. As Niner fans, we are not excusing Kyle Shanahan for his play calling. First of all, we're not giving him a pass for his stupid play calling. We're not. But let's not pretend... Our defense was garbage. Let's not pretend in the two playoff games we should have lost to the freaking Packers. We should have lost to the Lions. But no. After we played in the Super Bowl, that defense played great. Where was that defense? Where was that defense? It showed up in the Super Bowl, but it didn't show up in the playoffs. It didn't show up against the Vikings. It didn't show up against the Bengals. It didn't even show up against the Browns. Heck, it had to play some tough games, man. I don't know. That defense wasn't shit. I'm keeping it a buck with y'all, man. But for some of y'all fans, man, do your homework. Don't get some BS take because that's not how it works here. If you're a fan of another team, at least ask a 49er fan who watches the game. And then you can chime in because you're actually putting misinformation, false crap. You got to ask us because we watch our football team and we know what goes on behind the scenes. Get your sources right or don't even talk about it, period. I don't like that. Don't talk bad about my team unless you got legitimate information. That's all I got to say, man. Steve Wilkes underperformed. Him and Kyle Shanahan didn't see eye to eye. The players didn't connect. Kyle Shanahan said that it didn't work out. They tried this experiment with with Steve Wilkes. It didn't work out. The defense that he used to do, it wasn't. It was very limited on his defense. That's why the defense was a step down, because Steve Wilkes couldn't do the blitzes. Because when he did a cut, when he did like a blitz zero, that shit didn't work. It only worked when he had his players do the blitz. This shit didn't work. Under Steve Wilkes on his defense from previous years, he would blitz 43% of the time. With the Niners, 19% because Kyle wanted him not to do that shit. Kyle kept telling him, don't do that, man. Like going into overtime, players were complaining about that shit. And Kyle burned the timeout and just yelled at him and said, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Man, I told you not to do that play. I told you not to do that play, man. And when he kept telling him not to do that shit, he kept refusing. What does that tell you, bro? You may not like Kyle Shanahan, but he's the one that, he's the honcho, bro. He calls the shots here. You may not like it. And we're not giving Kyle Shanahan a pass. Let's set the record clear. We're not giving him a pass. We're not. His play calling in the second half was garbage. Should have ran McCaffrey. Should have did this, and we would have won the Super Bowl. But even if we won the Super Bowl, Steve Wilkes was good as gone anyways. There was no way we were going to bring back Steve Wilkes. It was going to be a done deal anyways. He was good as gone. They were going to move on. It wasn't going to matter. It just didn't work out. There was just a lot of miscommunication. There was friction. There was a lot of stuff that you weren't aware of. They weren't getting along. So how do you how do you coexist with somebody you can't work with? It, it kind of seemed like a perfect marriage in the beginning when they got the guy, but it didn't work out. He had to learn the damn defense. He had to learn the defense. Because it was a complete different defense that he ran. And it took time. And he still couldn't get it figured out. So that's what happened. 
That was the, that was what happened with Steve Wilkes' exit. It wasn't a scapegoat crap. Let's end it right there.